This is next episode of LH Crypto Report for the investment market for the past two weeks. So briefly, what's on the development of the developing countries' currencies, the downfall of the developed countries' currencies, what's with oil, what's general situation in the market, what's with crypto, and of course, economic calendar. And finally, which is the luckiest company of the week? Let's go. So two weeks ago, we finished with the sharp downfall and correction of all the major indexes and all the major markets from east to west. Thankfully, two great news appeared almost of nowhere, but well, they were so much anticipated. Pfizer, the company, announced the 90% effectiveness of its potential treatment from COVID. Just a few days after that, our favorite from the previous episodes, Moderna, announced that its treatment is 94%. 0.5% effective. So that all pushed the markets to their new historical heights and well, all the analytics were just weird up telling every day, every new day that as well, it's new peak, it's new peak again, and even new peak and new peak. Well, we waited for that for so long, so why not? However, there are still clouds on the horizon uh, and uh, the world health organization came out with the news that whatever the vaccine successes are, they won't be able to cope with the wave of virus well, just because the production facilities and the production capacities are insufficient in the global scale. Well, this pushes down the European currency against USD. Well, after climbing on new peaks over the year, it's now sliding to 1.18. At the same time, USD is suffering its worst time in months. Polls say that major investing companies are closing their short positions for USD and this, this may be quite a sign. So there was no story of more woo than watching the price of oil these past 2020 months. Oil remains one of the most sensible commodities influenced by the whole bunch of factors. Uh, well, positive ones. China and India are boosting the purchases of oil. Uh, with all the signs of the economics recovering. At the same time, OPEC plus meetings of ministers confirmed that they still stick to the deal and are going to follow it till at least the end of the year. Well, these are just bright news. At the same time, the United Arab Emirates suddenly announced that they may not follow the deal, not to mention that they may, can even quit the OPEC. And although they did tell this numerous times before, actually none of really significant ministers of United Arab Emirates ever confirmed this was definitely a firm plan. So now WTI is somewhere between 41 and 42 USD per barrel, Brent is between 42 and 45, and we just observe a little correction that since the Energy Information Administration of United States declared the 4.3 million barrel growth of US oil stocks contrary to the expected minus 700,000. Well, well, it happens basically every two weeks. Just you can see that it's first an expected growth, then an expected fall. Still, there can be found no trend other than flat. Uh, whatever it is, those of you who followed our, well, several months ago advice to invest in oil in midterm, well, are currently in a big plus. Enjoy. Finally, the lucky one mate of the week, Elon Musk and his Tesla. Standard and Poor's 500 or S&P 500 is the leading stocks index, which includes, well, the average price of more than uh, 505 stocks traded on US stock exchanges. Uh, which are just like creme de la creme of all public companies with the highest capitalization. Uh, it was announced that on December 21, 2020, Tesla will finally be included into the index since it followed and complied to all the requirements of the index first and foremost five consecutive uh, profitable quarters. Now it's all serious and the company definitely becomes one of the leaders vehicle manufacturers on the planet. Uh, well, they had problems with cash flows. Well, they have had problems with 
investments, well, they had basically lots of problems. But as we see now, this the 2020 have been and is so far the luckiest year for Tesla. And well, the year of the company is mostly all possible personal and company records, not to mention the industry records. But the market, which is definitely lucky today, and yes, this is what we usually started from, but now we finish it just because we wanted to finish with only bright news is crypto market. Rising from their September's bottom, BDC from 10, 11,000 per one Bitcoin to almost 18 and a half thousand. Ethereum from 320 to 480 and Litecoin from 42 to 78. Cryptocurrency demonstrates the most outrageous and the most spectacular growth since 2017. But we still warn you to be very cautious because this is a volatile market. This is a market which changes every second and never stops trading, trading 24-7. So be cautious because, well, the 2017 growth ended too and it's only 1.5 thousand USD left till Bitcoin's ever history record of 20,000 price. But if you're not about drawing figures and all the geometry and Fibonacci levels and long-term strategies and you're trading shortly or scalping, remember that LH Crypto offers a sensationally large leverage to its clients depending on the type of account with which you can earn substantial amount of money and really minutes counted. And economic calendar, Tuesday, November 24, the day when business climate in Germany will be announced in November. Well, a sharp drop from 92.7 to 88.5 is expected. Uh, Wednesday will be the day of durable goods orders from month to month in the United States and personal income in the United States as well as well as personal spending. Thursday will show us the consumer confidence in Germany. Well, they're expecting a minus two drop. And finally, November 30th, we'll see the manufacturing PMI in November in China. Enough for today. So see you in the next two weeks with, well, I hope none less exciting and bright and surely positive news. The numbers of COVID new cases are still growing globally. So wear your masks when you're not alone, when you're outdoors. Take care and may the profit be with you. Bye.